According to the AOT campaign, it was through a published report just last week that the senator and her staff first learned of the controversy surrounding Bridgepoint education and promptly returned $8,000 in campaign donations from its political action committee, saying, quote, our campaign recognizes the serious questions that have been raised about this organization's practices. The assistant majority leader. But in April of last year, Ayotte herself presided over the Senate when Illinois Democrat Dick Durbin sounded the alarm on several for-profit educational companies accused of shady canvassing tactics. I've been contacted by their students, including veterans, who have been lured into their worthless degree programs and use up their GI bills as a result of it. And at one point in passing, Senator Durbin mentions by name AOT's campaign contributor. Their parent company, Bridgeport Education, is under investigation by at least three state attorney general. It's an informational timeline contradiction that Democrats say leaves two explanations, neither of which is very flattering. Worst case, she's misrepresenting what happened, um, and her best case is what? She was playing angry birds while presiding over the Senate when this was being discussed on the floor of the Senate. I mean, come on. In response, AOT's campaign released another statement calling this a desperate attack by her Senate challenger, Maggie Hassan, quote, who was previously forced to return more than $30,000 in campaign contributions. Our campaign refunded these contributions when legitimate concerns about this organization's practices were brought to our attention. And late this afternoon, the Hassan campaign fired back, saying, quote, Kelly Ayotte presided over the Senate floor when the practices of Bridgepoint were laid bare directly in front of her, yet she still went on to accept thousands of dollars from their PAC.